Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Today we're looking at Cardano as we are seven days out from the launch of smart contracts. Along with that, the market is getting extremely hot. So we are obviously seeing plenty of scams and plenty of projects which are promising the world and will probably deliver nothing. So we'll check out a couple of these posts from these sorts of projects. Make sure you've hit that like button as soon as you click onto the video. It's just a natural reaction to go and tap that like button. You can always untap it later if you don't find any value from the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bell notification icon. Click all so that you see the videos pop up in your news feed. Let's crack on. Staking your ADA is the first thing here as it is a Cardano video. We have our ADA shirts on. If you aren't staking your ADA, make sure you're doing that whether it's with the Investor Accelerator pool or another pool. There are plenty of different staking pools out there. Uh, you can check out a link to my staking pool down below. It's the official one of the channel and there's some instructions on how to do that with uh, decentralized wallets like Yoroi and ADA Lite. So you can earn passive income on the ADA that you hold. It's safe in your wallet. It moves with the price of ADA and you earn passive income in the form of ADA. Links are down below. Does the market think that smart contracts will be supported on mainnet of Cardano's mainnet by October 1st? Well, the answer is nine out of 10 people say yes. And this has been uh, getting further and further apart over the last few weeks. So less people are at no, more people are at yes. This is just a betting mechanism. Uh, you could bet on whether the smart contracts would be launched on mainnet. So uh, they've got 800,000 in traded volume. Liquidity is only about 10,000. More people are saying yes at this point in time. Now onto the scams and the hopium. And this is something I would pay very, very close attention to as the market heats up and gets super, super bullish. This sort of stuff here, $40. Why Cardano will hit $40? I don't think they've talked about hitting $40. Charles never makes predictions on the price of ADA let alone talking about it going to $40. This is absolute nonsense, especially in this point in the cycle. But for any of these sort of videos now to get attention, it needs to be something astronomical so that the the likes of going from a $3 ADA to $6 ADA just doesn't seem that important anymore. You know, it's just a double. Whereas if you can call it 40 bucks, well, you, you throw a lot of hopium in there, believing that this could go an extra 10x. Now, I'm sure there'll be some people saying you're a fool and this thing has to go to $40 because Ethereum's broken and ADA's cheaper, blah, blah, blah. It's probably not going to happen in this cycle. That is like ADA going from a $100 billion market cap to over a trillion dollar market cap, well over a trillion dollar market cap to get there. I just can't see that happening in this cycle. Now, I would happily be wrong, of course, because I hold ADA, but I'm also realistic with my investments. More negative Nancy news going on in the crypto space. So I popped this up on Twitter today. This was the homepage of Coindesk. I opened it up. Everything was negative. So I'm leading into what I think they're trying to do. If we get, if we look at whales manipulating the markets, it is September. Market has been creeping up for over six weeks now. Corrections do have to come at some point. That's just a natural thing in the markets. It's just a natural part of the markets. And the headlines just struck me. All I could see was negative, negative, negative. So I've, I've highlighted them or I've underlined them here. Trouble, confused, shutting down, team exits, protocols, tokens plunged, cuts, warnings, regulations, end payment, alert, SEC investigating. I've got loot holders. Loot is a, an NFT, but just looking at all these words together, if you if you learn or understand anything about neuro-linguistic programming or NLP, loot doesn't sound like a great word either. Why would they have to put this on the headlines with all of these other negative things? I don't think it's uh, a coincidence. I think it's all brought together to try and bring prices down at a particular point in time, especially when they see the markets are a little weak, even though we've been climbing, the volumes are drying up. Onto some of the scammier stuff, uh, looking at projects which aren't really doing anything, and this could be completely wrong. You might be an ADAX holder or a lover of this project, and now you're just going to hate on everything I've got to say here. I'm not hating on the project. It's just some things to keep in mind, especially with what we talked about earlier in the video, that uh, as this ecosystem grows rapidly, there's a lot of money coming into the space, so much, and everyone wants a piece of that Cardano ecosystem. 
And so they're going to make up all these different sorts of projects. What have we got going on with ADAX? It's now $1.33. It's down 14%. We can see it's been on a steady downtrend at the moment, just trying to bounce its way back. I haven't done any research into it in terms of the fundamentals. I am purely just looking at the space and I am happy to say that, that I have not done the fundamentals on it because there is a lot of projects to look at. And for me, the way I play the markets, especially in the really volatile times, is to find a chart and look for good entry points, play them for profits, and then do a lot more research in the bear market when there is time to find out more about the projects. Because in the bull markets, everyone is coming up saying that they are building absolutely anything and everything, all the buzzwords, and it's very hard to find some truth in anything. Now, this particular author on Reddit is talking about ADAX. Like I said, no offense to anyone holding it. I'm sure there'll be some comments down below. I'm just bringing you what I'm finding here. The, the project as a whole was lacking any kind of technical information. I could, not, I could find no code, no GitHub, no visual models or plan for what they were creating. Now, this could change in the coming days or weeks. Maybe they're seeing this and they're improving it and they're a really good project after all and they just had to had, need some more time to fix some things up, right? It goes on to say, that's when I dove into their social media, which unsurprisingly is rife with people that have the same concerns as me. However, they are far outweighed by the moon boy culture. We know, that's, we know that is around the, the space. And active sentinels who will be ready to defend and shut down and reasonable, any reasonable questions that dare to dig a little deeper. There's a lot of we'll be releasing code soon, just wait type of responses that have been the norm for months now. Like I said, this could change at any time. The only, the main thing I should say with this is that I'm looking for an idea of what is going on out there. Meaning, is this the norm for any new Cardano project that you are looking at? Is this what you are finding when you are searching their pages on Twitter or on their home pages on their websites? Is this what you are finding? If that's the case, then you're probably looking at some red flags. Look at this entire ecosystem of Cardano. It's absolutely mega. And I think there are a lot of good projects in here that are going to do well. We have seen Jiro Wallet take off and do very, very well. Um, I've also looked at the likes of Charlie who have done all right, but I'd be keeping a very close eye on this support level at around $2.60, $2.70. That starts to break down. You probably see some lower prices. And if you're following TA, you can see just lower highs forming through here. Regardless of what's coming up, just the amount of lower highs probably needs some time to rest at the moment. Hopefully after smart contracts launch and these projects have continued to build out and develop on the mainnet, then they're going to see some other price rises as they continue to build. But for now, keep a very close eye on your charts and keep a close eye on who is actually doing what in the space. One more thing to watch is sponsored. So this is another Cardano project over here looking at Cardax. Sponsored just means that they have paid Cointelegraph to get uh, an article written on them and they'll generally write this up and maybe the editors and stuff will have a look at it. But that's another thing you want to have a look out for. Are they putting a lot of sponsored content out there or are they actually using the money to go and create and build the platform that they say they are going to build? There's nothing wrong with getting some marketing done. It's just a matter of which one comes first for the project. If they're first into marketing and they're really heavy on marketing, it's probably likely it's a money grab. But if they're really investing into building out their, their project and their ecosystem, then it's probably likely it's a project that is trying to build and do something in the space. Now, just before we get into the technicals, just a mention of the Investor Accelerator Patreon group, 39 US per month. There are 30 remaining. So since yesterday's video, 20 of you guys have taken up the offer so far. So thank you very much. Gone from 50 to 30 left. Looks like it'll be sold out in the next few days. So if you're interested, check out the links down below. 39 US for the Patreon group, exclusive content, digital downloads, the complete post archive, uh, weekly market videos. One is coming out today. So if you're subscribed, you'll be able to see that uh, as it comes out in a few hours time. And then the monthly market reports. So that, that's the Investor Accelerator Patreon group, 30 to go at 39 US. All right, on to the charts and ADA USD is where we are looking. So I'm going to throw out the big hopium first up, all right? I'm looking at these waves here, one up and back. Another big one up and a big one back. It looks like we're into our fifth wave at the moment. This is on a macro time frame. I know a lot of people expect these things to happen over the next 
minutes or hours or days, but you can see that this took several months. This was about a 20-week move. And then it had a correction of a couple of months from July into September, so almost dead on two months. And then we had the next move, the next wave up, which took several months yet again. And then a few more months down. So these are the macro moves and this is where the big money is made. Looking at the big money, if you want to take a measured move from this low to this high, that's at around 3,000. Call it 31, 3,200%. That is a huge move going from about seven or eight cents to that top of $2.50. Do I think we're going to get another 3,200% move from this low of a dollar? No, that would bring us up to about $30, $32 ADA. And I don't think ADA is going to get to $32 in this boom. I could be wrong. I get it. But I'm not planning on a $32 ADA from a dollar move. That is, seems absolutely ludicrous. What I am looking for this is just the hopium look. It doesn't mean it has to get there, but I'm excited to see the waves play out similarly. So this wave is the biggest. If you're looking at Elliott, then wave three is always the biggest wave. All right, wave one and wave five are generally equal. doesn't have to be, but that's what we can possibly see. Okay, so give us some numbers. We're just gonna speculate with some pricing. This is wave two. So that's wave two and that's wave four. All right. So you don't want to see wave you don't want to see wave four go beneath the high of wave one. And we're not going to see that. That's not going to happen. All right. But the price range here from one and a half or one point seven cents, which was a low, to that top is about eight hundred or nine hundred percent to around seventeen cents. What do we get if we do around an eight hundred or nine hundred percent? from the low that was put in in June and July. So we take that and we do it from the low, come up about 800%. That would bring us to around our $8 mark. So it's around a dollar. There's our 700, there's 800, about nine bucks. So somewhere around that seven-ish, maybe two, maybe we hit a thousand percent return from that point. That's going to bring us up to around $10 or $11. So keep that in mind if you're getting in late or you're thinking about dollar cost averaging in from this point, all good runs will come to an end. There's no questions about that. And if I'm looking at equal ranges from the first range, something around an 800, 900, maybe a 700, like there's going to be a few hundred percent at least in that move um, or several hundred percent, I should say, because we've already done a 200% move from that low. So we could get to our 750, which gets us to around 600%. And then we go to about an equal of the first range around that $9. So that's my bit of hopium when it comes to ADA from this move. Maybe for some people that's not enough because from our current price of $3 to get to that $9 level is about 200%. So it's really about a 3x from that point. Maybe it gets to 11, maybe 12 bucks, you know, 300%. There's an extra 100% there, which would be your 4x. So in terms of where this has come from, what's left in it, that's still a pretty big number when you think about ADA being at around 90 or $100 billion at the moment to do a 2 or 3 or 4x. That's going to put it very close to Ethereum's current market cap. And of course, ETH and Bitcoin will have to go up as well as more, more and more money piles into the ecosystem. But we'll keep tracking that and see if we can note any other changes in the market behavior. But for now, that was my bigger price target, especially from where we are at three bucks. I don't want to go on the back of something crazy like $40 that I think just gets our hopes up. And it doesn't mean that the market has to hit these price targets of 9, 10, 11, 12 dollars. We need to see what the market does and how it reacts to the conditions as the market continues to climb and hit these price targets of four and five other psychological levels. So that's today's video, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. We are under seven days left to the launch of smart contracts. Be wary of the scams and the amount of projects that are coming into the space, promising all sorts of hope that they're going to be the next big thing or the uni swap of Cardano. 
at the end of the day, we'll probably see some price rises in almost anything. It is a bull market. That's the that's what happens, right? But it's what happens at the end when the, the party is over. The ones who are left holding the bags are going to be the real big losers, unfortunately. And this is this is what happens time and time again through every single crypto bull market. Uh, whether it's crypto, whether it's stocks, if you're left holding the bags at the end of the day, you have to come under the fire of a 90 or 80% drawdown from that money that was invested. So be wary. This is getting hot again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, if you are staking your ADA or you want to stake your ADA, check out the links down below to earn passive income on your Cardano. Patreon, link is down below. 30 spots left there. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. I'll check you out on Twitter or on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.